Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Terraria Master Mode coming at you from the Drunk World Seed. As you guys can see, we are currently in the Crimson trying to expand upon our Crimson Farm so we can try to get ourselves the Vampire Knives and obviously before that, the Crimson Key. So yeah, hopefully this does the job in getting us the Crimson Key and then we can get the Vampire Knives and give the Empress of Light a really good stab again. But of course, before we do any of that, I do want to say, of course, a massive thank you for all of the support you guys have been showing this series. I very much do appreciate it. Of course, if you do want to continue supporting the series, the best way to do so is simply to drop a like on the video. But of course, if you guys want to go one further with your support, go ahead and use Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or at the time of me making this video to get 10 percent off when ordering any of my apex gaming pc i'll tell you what guys i am so glad that i've got a pixel because it just means that making all these various farms is just way the heck easier now it doesn't take as long nowhere near as long as if i was to go ahead and do this in pre-hard mode for example so yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is certainly doing the job, my friendos. See? When in doubt, make a giant freaking box room and, well, basically hope for the best. This room is enormous. If we don't manage to get the Crimson Key in a decent amount of time from this freaking room, then there's something wrong, surely. And then once you've got your box room, you just go a little bit off the floor so the dudes all spawn below you, and then you go back and forth on your broom with the Scourge of the Corruptor, which homes in on any enemies that they spawn in. And then afterwards, you just sort of hope for the best and uh, hope that RN Jesus pays you a little visit with a little Crimson Key. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Occasionally, of course, we do get Crimson Mimic spawn in, but at this point, it is incredibly easy to take those poor saps out of the game. So what have we got here? The dart pistol. Very, very interesting. Some of the other things I've managed to get here. Flesh knuckles, the fetid back knacks again, the meat grinder crafting station. There's a lot of things that we've managed to get over the course of creating this farm, my friends. But the flesh knuckles in conjunction with the paladin shield makes a very, very nice top tier accessory, which I'm pretty tempted to give a go. I feel like at this point, ladies and gentlemen, it's just a matter of patience and doing a swoop every now and again to see if you get the Crimson Key. I mean, surely, some point now. I hope it doesn't take hours to get. I really, really hope it doesn't take hours to get, man. Now, when it comes to the vampire knives, if not even them in conjunction with my Xeno staff is enough to take down the Empress of Light, then I'm extremely very tempted to just go for Moon Lord and say sod it, you know? Because at that point, we'll have some crazy weapons. And at that point, by having the epic weaponry and potentially armor sets, we should be able to take down the Empress and therefore complete our collection. I mean, we never really had a solid rule set that said, oh, hey, we need to take down the bosses in progression order. I mean, we never really set that rule for ourselves, did we? So at this point, I'm just sort of all right with doing the rest of the events and bosses in any order, just as long as I get my master mode collection complete. And of course, my relic collection complete as well. Because at that point, I will call the series complete and we will move on to something else. So yeah, those two goals right there. Master mode drops and the relics. When you spend so long underground in one section that you start to think, am I ever going to see sunlight again? I feel like it's been freaking years since I've seen the sun in this game, guys. <laughs> I want this to be done, man. I want those vampire knives. Oh, cool. A philosopher's stone. That's actually pretty darn cool. I don't believe we managed to get one of those so far this series. There's a magic dagger, more flesh knuckles, another dark pistol. Oh, lots and lots of drops, my friends. But none of the ones that we're looking for. Well, I say ones as in plural. I mean just one. There's only one thing I'm looking for. Come on. Monster meat? What the hell is that, man? Well, I mean, obviously meat of a monster. But seriously, what is it? Summons a small pig man. Gross, it's full of hairs. Uh, what? Uh, oh. Okay. That's kind of cool. I didn't even know that was a pet. <laughs> well, I mean, as cool as it is, I still prefer my little snowman. I can't help it, man. I love my little snowman. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Yes! Yes! Finally! <laughs> and we got a Crimson Mimic to finish it all off as well. Oh, my gosh! A long bleeding last, ladies and gentlemen. A long bleeding last. We got it. We've got the crimson key, guys. We are done. 
finally, we can get the freaking vampire knives. Oh, snappers. I'm very, very excited, guys. I'm very excited. Right, so there's a band of regeneration. I should be able to make myself the charm of myths, but additionally, I should also be able to combine the flesh knuckles with the paladin shield to get a superior accessory here, the hero shield. 10 defense. Obviously, putting warding on it would bolster your defense by 14 in one sweep, which is absolutely insane. So there's the charm of myths. Very, very cool. And neither of them are materials. All right. So you know what that means. Warding, menacing. That's what we're looking for. I gotta do a better job of remembering this damn thing. There it is, the discount card. Dudes, we've really got to try and get the lucky coin. We really, really do. I really want that lucky coin because it would end all of our freaking money issues, huh? All right, so let's take that off. Put the freaking discount card on. We're looking for warding on this particular thing. Basically, just warding. Up oh, there it is. 14 defense by itself. That is absolutely friggin' insane for this. I don't mind warding or men. Oh, there we are. Even more defense. So a grand total of 18 defense with just these two accessories alone. That is ridiculous. <laughs> and check it out. This thing actually grants immunity to knockback as well. Similar to the Ank shield. Very nice. So the question is, where is the crimson chest? That's what we need to find out, huh? All right. Well, here we are, going down. There's the hollow chest right there. According to the mini-map, the chest is way, way over here. Might take a little bit to get to, but we'll get there in the finish, guys. At the end of the day, we've got the key. We're going to get the vampire knives. We'll be able to suck life away from a whole bunch of enemies. Hello there, freaking bonely buddy, non-bud. What do you get out of here? All right, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The vampire knives. Yeah, 40 melee damage and rapidly throw life-stealing daggers. I mean, need I say any more? Still one of the all-time greats even today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Very cool. All righty, real quick, let's try and get a good reforge on these bad boys. Come on, I don't even know what the best reforge is for this. Can you even get legendary on vampire knives? Is that possible? Okay, godly or demonic, according to the wiki. Both modifiers increase average damage output by the same amount. So yeah, 45 damage. It seems a little bit low for late hard mode, but I tell you what, it's more so the life steal that is going to be the thing that I'm looking for. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. I really, really am. I'm hoping that my Xeno dudes with the life steal might be enough. Might be enough. Might be is the big thing, my friends. Obviously, we can still use the Flask of Eichel with the Vampire Knife, so we can still decrease the freaking defense of the Empress of Light. So, I'm going to really try to think about this, okay? We've got ourselves the Fish Run Wings. That is absolutely something that I'm not going to take off. The Celestial Shell could potentially be replaced with the Hero Shield for 14 defense. The Master Ninja Gear is absolutely something I do want to have. The chance to dodge attacks and dash... Is fantastic. The Brain of Confusion also grants the ability to dodge attacks, but I don't know if it stacks with the Master Ninja Gear to give you an even higher chance of dodging attacks. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to take off the Brain of Confusion for the Charm of Myths, and needless to say, the discount card is coming off in favor of the Papyrus Scarab. All right, I think we might have a good little set here, my friends. I mean, we do have 56 defense now, which is absolutely ridiculous for a summoner set. <laughs> so what do you guys think, huh? Could we do this thing now? Is it possible, eh? Is it possible? Well, we'll give it a couple of tries, and if it's still not enough, my little combo here to take down the Empress of Light, then we will go for Moonlord and come back to the Empress of Light, okay? That is what we're going to do. To say that I'm nervous is an understatement, ladies and gentlemen, but we're still going to give this thing a ruddy good go. So then, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna do this thing, and I'm gonna do something I don't usually do. I'm gonna go completely silent during this fight, so I've got maximized concentration on the fight, rather than having to commentate, you know? Because it's difficult, man! A lot of folks always think that going ahead and making YouTube videos and commentating over what you do is easy, but when it comes to boss fights that really require your attention, it's kind of difficult to commentate. It really is. So yeah, that is why I'm going to go silent for this one. Ladies and gentlemen, the prismatic lace wing. Here we go!
such a good run there. Again, though, it's my dodging. I need to learn the order of the attacks. I do. I need to learn the order of the attacks. I know I've got this. I know I've got this. I know I've got it. Oh, damn it. I can't even get back over there. Crap. All right, come on. We've got to be quick about this. Otherwise, we're going to start running out of time here. My heartbeat. Oh my god, my poor heart. My poor heart. My poor heart. My poor heart. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, we did it. The Empress of Light on master mode. No usage of the nurse. Completely cheeseless. We did it. We actually did it. Guys, if you haven't dropped a like already, I'd very much appreciate it, my friends. Truly, I would. But uh, there you are, ladies and gentlemen. The Empress of Light. We did manage to take her on and beat her before Moon Lord. Very, very cool. I'm very happy with that. Very happy indeed. The only thing I'm not so happy about is the fact that I did not get the uh, the master mode drop which is you know unfortunate to say the least but hey ho it is what it is guys check it out we can now get another relic for our collection the only two left in terms of the bosses are the lunatic cultist and of course the moon lord so do you know what i'm thinking if we've managed to take it down once maybe i could take it down again hmm? what do you guys think we're gonna need a new knight of course but uh, i don't know man that was not too bad, was it? We actually did it. I had to go full concentration mode, but we did it. All right, we freaking did it. I'm very happy right now because now I know that I am indeed capable of taking her down on future occasions. So yeah, I think what we're going to do is wait for the next night to roll around and we'll get right back to it. Whoa. What the hell? Heavy starlight. Well, that's interesting. Kind of reminiscent of the Fetid Bag Nax, maybe? Except kind of a hallowed version of it? With more range, of course. That is ridiculous. I don't even know if this is good against anything, if I'm honest with you. Maybe we'll have to give it a go against a different boss in future. But anyways, we're right back here. The new night is about to begin. Let's go ahead and get our buffs on. And uh, yeah, guys, let's uh, see if we can do this thing again.
ladies and gentlemen. Number two has been taken down. And ladies and gentlemen, there it is. <laughs> Woo -wee! I am so glad that I don't have another case of Plantera. Oh, God. Can you imagine us getting as unlucky with the Master Mode drop as with Plantera, huh? Like, seriously, can you imagine? Holy crap. There it is. The Jewel of Light summons a fairy princess to provide light. Very, very cool. All right, let's go ahead and uh, check her out. Oh, look, that's so cool, though. Oh, right, let me just zoom in real quick. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, very, very cool, in fact. Of course, we're going to wind up taking this thing off so we can put it in our collection. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. We've got the Soaring Insignia. And believe it or not, the very same weapon. The Ruthless Starlight this time. Okay, very, very cool. Do you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I think what we should do is end the episode before we get a little bit too ahead of ourselves. There is the Jewel of Light. And, well, actually, we've already got our pumpkin-scented candle, so I can actually put that back on. But there we have it. The last two master mode drops in terms of bosses we need are the Lunatic Cultist and the Moon Lord. But, of course, we've got plenty of event stuff to do as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, how about it, huh? Should we end the episode while we're ahead? I think that would be a marvelous idea. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this episode and the fact that we have finally taken out the Empress of Light on master mode, I'd very much appreciate it, of course, if you guys would head down below the video and drop a like hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content but for now my friends thank you so much for watching do have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day and i will see you guys in the next episode Bye bye